Shut up and sit down. Greetings, fellow Earth travelers, and welcome to Just a Second. How y'all doing today? So today, guys, today I want to do a top five watches of 2018. As I record this, it is January 3rd of 2019. And I want to take a look back at my top five watches of 2018. Now, this isn't the top five watches in all of history for 2018. This is the top five watches that I actually purchased to date. Well, to date doesn't really matter. The year's already over. In 2018, I bought 138 watches. Of those watches, these are the top five that I purchased. My favorite five. Oh, and I just want to kind of go over those guys. Now, quick wrist check. I am wearing the Casio A168. Uh, a little retro today. Love it, love it. And I am Schwarzkoven, as usual, with a smartwatch on my uh, primary hand. I am right-handed. This guy's cool. It has two displays. It's got a liquid crystal display there, almost e ink-like, and an OLED underneath that uh, comes on the LCD saves power, which is really cool. Uh, this is a TickWatch Pro, so I've been sporting that guy for a while now. So the first watch up on the table today is the Orient Mako 2 XL. Love this guy, and he's going to take the number 5 slot on our list. Uh, a super cool dive watch. You get the pusher for setting the day, and it does have a day date display. Um, it is not, the time is not set, nor are the date on it. I haven't worn it in a few days. Uh, really nice rotating 120 click bezel, full loom dial. Really love that. And look at those hands. Those hands are gorgeous. There we go, get you guys zoomed in so you can really check those hands out. Super, super nice looking piece, and the loom on this guy is just stellar. It's got a solid link band all the way around. I mean, Orient being part of Seiko, they really up their game, and they're really doing some cool stuff. I do have a little bit of desk rash on this guy, because I do wear him quite frequently. And this is going to take my number five slot. The Orient Mako 2 XL with the full loom dial. So moving on to the number four slot for 2018 is going to be the Spinnaker Bradner. This piece was released in 2018 by Spinnaker and is a really cool compressor design. You know, very interesting. Love that inner rotating bezel. Butter smooth on the, the rotation. Date complication at 3 o'clock. Decent loom. Uh, the outer bezel does loom as well. You know, everything lines up as it should. It looks good. Display case back. Uh, waterproof leather, you know, that Spinnaker likes to do. That just means it's been treated and it resists water longer. Uh, beautiful blue. Uh, you know, sunburst dial. Just that deep, deep resonant blue. Look at that. That is just gorgeous. Sapphire crystal. Really super de dupe nice piece. And get you guys zoomed in so you can really check out that beautiful dial. Look at that thing shine in the studio lights. Typical Seiko movement. Spinnaker loves their Seiko movements. And that's a not, not a darn thing wrong with that. You know, Seiko has made quality movements for a really long time. Great feeling leather. Wonderful piece. And our number four slot. Now in our number five slot, we had an Orient. 
the parent company of Orient is Seiko. So I'd be remiss if I didn't have a Seiko on this list. And it's coming in at our number three slot. The Seiko Ice Monster. Now, Seiko doesn't actually name their watches. This is just names that their fans have put on watches. This is the Ice Monster. It's technically an SRP48. Uh, I'm sorry, SRP481K1. Blah, 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 mouthful. Love this piece. Absolutely gorgeous. That beautiful satin silver dial. Love those hands. Love that blue on the second hand. The blue around the chapter indices. Be the the, the uh, loom on these Seikos, the Lumabrite, is insane. Excellent, beautiful day-date complication. Really nice rotating bezel. 120 click again. Just super, super nice. Nice band. Solid steel display case back. A little bit bigger than the Orient's. Uh, and just really a, a showpiece. I mean, I every time I wear this, somebody comments on it. You know, hey, Obux, that is a gorgeous looking piece. Hey, what is that? That's interesting looking. You know, just constant comments coming in for the Seiko Ice Monster. Get you guys zoomed in so you can check it out up close. Boy, that is a good looking piece. That blue is just stunning. I tell you, the, the studio lights just do not do it justice. Love that second hand. A fitting piece at our number three slot, the Seiko Ice Monster. So hitting our number two slot is a bit of a surprise. It's a quartz piece, not an automatic. So coming in at number two, a Graf Zeppelin Los Angeles LZ126. I was stunned when I got this piece. Uh, the quality is just off the chart. Now it is made in Germany. And I tell you, those Germans know what they're doing when it comes to building something nice. Quality is outstanding. Love the big date. Love the, at the 6 o'clock you have a different time zone. It's got a pulse meter. So you can check your pulse if you so desire, as opposed to a tachyometer. You can get this this model with a tachyometer instead of the pulse meter if you so choose. I've got tons of tachyometers. I didn't have a pulse meter, so I wanted a pulse meter. Uh, dual crown, so one crown for the primary time, second crown for the secondary crown. They are, are, are for the secondary time. They are linked. So if I adjust, you know, the, the primary time, you see it adjusts the secondary time as well. Unless I choose to go in and adjust the secondary time independently using the second crown. Very, very cool feature. And of course, you guys know I love my cream dials. So get you guys zoomed in on the Zeppelin. Look at that dome crystal. Absolutely beautiful. If the camera will focus for me. Wow, what a beautiful, beautiful piece. Absolutely adore it. Can't wait to get some more Zeppelins in the collection. A fitting piece at number two. Now before we go to the number one slot, I want two honorable mentions, if y'all don't mind me throwing them in there. It's my video. I can do what I want, right? First off, first honorable mention has got to go to this quirky piece. I can't put it as one of my favorites, but it definitely is a cool piece, and it is definitely something quirky and fun, and it is by far the uh, funnest piece that I've picked up this year. And it is this guy. Now these are two vintage Russian Nixie tubes. These used to be used uh, as numeric displays way back before LCDs were a thing, before liquid crystal displays, or LEDs even. Uh, they would use these Nixie tubes. Uh, submarines used them quite often. 
And you can see, a little hard to see in the studio lights, but yeah, they have the, the numbers. You push the button, you get the time, or the hours and the minutes. The bottom lights up as well. Uh, really cool piece. Pick this up off Kickstarter. And a very happy I did. Really quirky, interesting piece. Now it is massively thick. Uh, you know, compared to the little Casio. Look at this guy. Just dwarfs it. But uh, yeah, super, super cool piece. There we go. Get you guys zoomed in so you can get a good look at it. Yeah, I will show you the time. Very, very cool piece. Definitely worth an honorable mention. My second honorable mention is going to go to a watch that absolutely would have been in the list and probably would have taken the number two slot. But I reserved my top five list for watches brand new that I purchased in 2018. This particular piece, I did buy it in 2018, but I bought it used. Uh, and this is the Zodiac Speed Dragon. Really love this piece. Uh, just fell in love with it from the moment I saw it. You know, saw, bought it from eBay, saw it online, said, yep, gotta have this. It is a quartz piece, again, a little surprise there, so it's nice and thin. Uh, saw it online, said, you know, it came with a silicon strap, a white silicon strap. It was like, okay. I was like, you know what? This guy needs Stingray. He needs genuine Stingray strap. And that's what he's got. So I put him on a genuine Stingray. That mother of pearl dial with the Stingray strap. The polished silver. The rotating bezel. You know, day-date complication. I do love my day-date complication. I love the fact this one's at the 6 o'clock instead of the traditional 3 o'clock just really sets this piece off. It is absolutely gorgeous and very much worth being on this list. Get you guys zoomed in so you can take a look at this gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Zodiac Speed Dragon. Well worth an honorable mention. Unfortunately I did buy it used from the used market. Uh, so it's not a new piece so it can't actually be on the list. In other words, other than just an honorable mention. And my number one watch purchase of 2018, the one I am the most proudest of, the one I adore wearing the most, is the Boulder Odyssey in bronze with a meteorite dial. That's right, a freaking space rock. You heard it, a rock that fell out of space is in that dial. So very cool. The inner geek in me is screaming hallelujah. Uh, plus you've got the marine grade bronze which is uh, getting an excellent patina on it. It is a bit of a heavy piece uh, but I can deal with that. I don't mind heavier pieces. Uh, sapphire crystal. I mean this guy ticks all the boxes. Seiko NH35 on the inside beautiful back detail look at that horween leather I mean it just doesn't get any better than that this thing is stunning nice bezel helium relief valve you can use it for diving I would take the horween off though gosh that horween does look good on there get you guys zoomed in so you can really check out that meteorite dial look at how that reflects that light Oh man, the studio lights just don't do it justice. You put this thing out in the sun and, oh, somebody slap your mama. Absolutely gorgeous and definitely our number one watch of 2018. So guys, that's my top five watch purchases for 2018. Love each and every one of these pieces. It was really hard to decide. There's several other pieces that almost made the table, I gotta tell you. Um, it was a good year. Good year for watches. A lot of nice purchases. Some duds, but you know, hey, that happens too. Tell me, what do you think? What's your favorite of these five? What's the best watch you purchased this year? Put a comment in a down yonder. Let me know. I'd love to have that conversation with you. But guys, I hope you had a fantastic 
holiday season, a fantastic new year. Can't wait to see what 2019's gonna bring. And until next time, guys, y'all get out there and make some noise. We'll see ya.